Hey, uh, so boys, uh, thanks again for coming, you know, seeing us at the uh, uh, Bassmaster Classic 2018 Mega Bass booth. So here is your new Orochi Double X, uh, second generation. First generation was introduced in 2013. We were originally planning to introduce this last year, but we couldn't because this new material, the character of it, it's so different from previous uh, generation Blanc's material. So even though we spec it like exactly same tonnage here, tonnage here, uh, ply counts, all the guide configuration, you know, all that same diameter, same, completely different. So this was very challenging. Uh, several models. Uh, we really had to prototype like five times five times you know so like let's say this comes up and then okay if in general if we change lower the tonnage here and apply extra fly here it didn't work like that in this material so therefore we took longer than we wanted to so there you may see our Japan so global version uh, Kabuto I mean uh, Kaiser Triple X in Japan uh, they were introduced we were introduced them in last year in Japan so we had to delay it till now but uh, thanks for waiting it's a worth wait what we've done differently so in general speaking series so many of you I believe fishing have been fishing our first generation Orochi Double X. Uh, I'm guessing you are all enjoying, um, you know, our lifting power, you know, and then the hard bait very specific, you know, to each application for models. Uh, so in general, uh, our focus was to improve the uh, recovery rate and then sensitivity and an overall balance so depending on the model but especially if you go on lighter side like this is f3.570 shaky head the other one uh f3 you know uh whip snake those lighter ones especially you will feel significant amount of increased power lifting power because of this material metal fiber inside it's called kabuto many people don't think the rods lifting and tiring fish down here because what you see visually is bending up here but in order for the rod to get lifting power up here is actually produced by here so you know, some of you guys uh, notice our rods are very much like smooth carp. We uh, always try to eliminate just a one spot shot and then max out. You know, uh, mega bus bent is usually like bent here. More load as you put more load, this bent spot will keep moving towards your butt and and then there you have maximum lifting power so like white uh whip snake job shot some of you gotta fish you know five pound flow carbon uh thin braid to you know six pound flow carbon leader uh one one eight you know uh light drop shot mosquito hook you gotta baby that fight you know especially you stick a good one like five pounders right instead of fighting it if there's a and not no covers for fish to just dig you in let that rod fight that fish tire the fish there you will find significantly shorter time for the fish to get tired because of this capital and new material yeah so guide configuration we basically every single model we went through car rod many times so like when you, when I when I say guide configuration is 
every model spend differently. Every uh, bend different to, to begin with, and then also amount of the load megabyte spent, so continue to move toward bug. So there, again, we are using different tonnage, graphite part section, for us to achieve the ideal uh, action of the rod, not just same tonnage blanks all the way top to down. We do use up to five, you know, different tonnage uh, graphite part section. So therefore, the guide configuration can be very, very important because that's where holds your line that has a lot of tension. In order for uh, the rod to maximize that, the guide configuration needed to be reviewed and fine-tuned. So that's another reason uh, we have to delay till this year. But. Um, uh, going to a little bit of um, parts, you know, uh, specs. Uh, these easily you can find on our website, but uh, upgraded to SIC from previous generation was using Alkaline. Previous generation, uh, we use a megabus minimum guide to, in, uh, to increase the crisp feel. The previous generation orange double X material was very much focused on hard bay. So lots of lifting power and lots of forgiveness. On top of that, we pack it with low resin. There you get the power, you don't miss that many fish. You don't lose that many fish. This year we go slightly larger, still smaller diameter than the uh, maybe standard size, but this is what we like to keep, not only to reduce the weight, but also having the line, you know, spacing from the blanks, ideal spacing, yeah. And then, real C. To me, this is a huge upgrade. This previous generation used a Fuji uh, uh, real C. It was, your reel was sitting much higher. This year, we're using Megabus Original Spiral Architect, which we used on um, Teshoya USA last year, 2017. So exactly the same. You see many different arrows and shapes and edges and all that. It's not just for the visual appearance. Every time, instead of straight, straight line you add arrows edges it reinforces you know it's not that long for it for the real seat to twist but they do in order to eliminate that we came up with this design uh, Yuki designed this you know from handwriting and drawing and then came up to this there you feel improved rigidity. On top of that, smooth carving. This actually allows, when you palm the reel, it allow, uh, allows to maximize the contact surface area. So there you have better leverage, more contact area actually transmits more. Yeah, so that, and then the cork diameter here, is actually slightly smaller than previous uh, double X. So it's a full uh, package still, you know, Arctic, smaller, diameter, tapered, and you know, lately reels are getting smaller too, and it's actually sitting over too. You have a very good compact, you know, set right here. So that, um, This particular model is 5.5 double X rail list. This is a brand new addition model to this generation double X. Uh, my application uh, concept is 316, 4 ounce, 38, 
Texas rig. Two of hook, three of hook, one, four, five of any hooks. But especially when fish get either finicky, line shy, angling pressure, uh, clear water, mm, deep, this will allow you, allow you to fish a pound test without breaking it. But also, you can fish braid, get a flow carbon leader, thick leader too, it's got a lot of power. The taper design was done, designed to eliminate line breakage based on eight pound test. So utilizing the length and additional length of the blanks to absorb all the fight and shakes of uh, panic run and all that. This particular model, you may find, you may feel the most improved uh, sensitivity from previous generation double X within bait casting model. Out of the um, yeah, 11 bait casting models, this is the uh, braid list, is the one that you feel tanks in your 316 tungsten going over rocks. This section of the rock will do the job instead of you going over the, each rocks. This bit stiffer section up here and this part of it, it actually kind of pulls and then rolls your, you know, excess ring. This is a very fun rock to fish with and then uh, I cannot wait for everybody, all of you to uh, play with it. Um, so spec wise, what's the difference, you know, from extreme mission type F? EMTF uh, still, I could not bring uh, last, you know, uh, sample to show because I made the last edit on that. So spec wise, very similar. Uh, you may find, you may think like, so what's the difference? Basically, extreme mission type F in first generation was to me treble hook long cast, you know. But uh, this year. I mean, the previous year, many people also used it for fishing bottom. This year, we want to <laughs> offer clear separation, similar spec, same length, similar spec, look, look identical, but EMTF will go 100% on turbo hook applications. And right next to it, rail is it. 5.5, so 0 0.5 bit, bit stiffer. This is 100% dedicated to bottom contact. Enter. <coughs> and these are swing fire and launcher. Uh, we did not continue to build a fast moving special. That's another composite series. So these, these two, swing fire, the previous swing fire was built to maximize the performance of S-Crank 1.5 and 1.2. Uh, this year still remains to support, you know, uh, to fish the S-Crank 1.5 and 1.2, but also we added more sensitivity. So also this part of it still, it's very much glass feel. It doesn't uh, constrict the crankbait action that you want the rod to kind of give still. But right here, we did the major change from previous generation that you feel a lot more contacts. You know, so previous generation is cranking. You, you may not have felt your line was starting to rub the branch this year, you will. This generation you will. You pick up little grass, this ground kind of loses its action, you may find that with this generation. Also, castability is a huge upgrade. Uh, previous generation swing fire wasn't designed to do overhead cast or full swing cast. It's more like circle cast. This year, of course, circle, circle cast, 
Spain, but once wanted to, I wanted to add that passive distance to it. This section punches out, so you get extra additional distance. Launcher is a huge difference. First, first generation launcher was great for deep six, deep X three hundred. Stick on the grass, stick the bait in the grass, and then you rip it with that fast action. This year, we designed it more like traditional, like a heavy crankbait rod. So there are many uh, heavy crankbaits. This will do it. Um, of course, our boy Chris Zelday right here, uh, he cannot wait to, you know, crank with launcher and also swing fire. <laughs> and then last one, this boom, jack bait special. So some of you uh, notice it's 611 now. From was it 68 or 610, right? So a lot of people liked it, and then yes, I agree. But uh, jack bait to me is. Casting distance can be huge advantage. Often we get we, we get bit on the 110, 110 plus one with a pretty good distance. Yeah, especially the bigger fish. I have not seen or experienced myself or heard that 10 pounder you catch on the jug bait right by the boat. But it should it, it'll happen, but it doesn't happen that often. So anyway, breeze spawn, cold water. Fish are very, very careful. There, I believe that additional casting distance can be a huge advantage. It's almost like requirement priority in my jug baby. And then two, cadence. Uh, action is different. This is more like a fast, faster tip. Previous jug bait was more like, you know, one solid piece. This generation, you have a lot more precise control to tap the line. 110, 110 plus one, maximum performance, the best action often in general is you tap the line, give the slug, uh, tap the slug, give the slug right away. So there, your know, one thing is free from line tension, it dances as you want your wanting to do. To do in order to do that the taper needs to be needed to be faster and also the weight and the balance of the entire rod is designed to do that with ease. You may notice shorter rear grip. This is actually to eliminate any conflict, confliction uh, with your jacket. You know, we are fishing 45 degrees water, jack baby. And then also, so 67 being the shoulder rear grip, you are actually almost getting the casting length of 7 foot, 7 11. That's how you get that uh, additional casting distance. So, this is very exciting. Uh, a lot more user friendly. I should say, one thing special in Destroyer was 100% designed for 110, 110 plus one, and Eco Shiner. 100% for Destroyer, one thing special. This double X Jack Bait special, 70% 110, 110 plus one Shiner, 30% top water. Phenomenal top water rod during the summertime. So, Give it a shot. So last difference between, so I try to explain to you the best I can on the improvement uh, from the previous generation double X to the 2018 second generation double X. From second generation double X to the higher series Destroyer USA, how, how much is the difference? Basically what you feel the difference in most is that the modulus. It's, uh, we also use different variable, you know, several different 
Tolesh, but uh, this is very aggressive, extremely fast blacks characteristics. There you feel more sensitive, uh, responsive, and then of course it's lighter with the titanium, and then uh, blank itself is lighter. So cosmetics sharing the same real seat architect. Yeah. So that's about it.